in this video, we will recreate this AI generated video. Uh, the link will be in the top right corner if you care to see the final animation. We are going to be using the automatic 1111 after effects and also the plugin AE to SD. So make sure you have all of this installed. Close this quickly. I'll move into after effects. To create a composition in After Effects, uh, we just click this button here or you can also come down here to New Composition and in this panel you can uh, put in the aspect ratio you want to work with, 512 by 768. Here you can also rename your composition. We will be working in 25 frames. We are animating only for the duration of 15 seconds. So just click OK. The next thing we do is to go to Windows. We come to the extensions, Motion Pro 4. So if you don't have this installed, I'll provide a link in the description. Once this panel opens up, choose a scene, click here, which uh, opens up a 3D scene composition for us down here. I'll just dock this to the, to the right. Uh, we have a reference as our prompt and what i'll do is i'm going to turn all of these ones off so i just click this this will be our prompt and this will be our camera control in stable diffusion so i'm going to push this arrow down and we come down to transformation in the z position we are going to be zooming in we start by first hitting this which will give us a keyframe and moving to three seconds we zoom in all the way to 500 and so from three seconds uh, we come to four seconds we are going to repeat the same keyframe here so nothing happens in between and uh, from four seconds we jump to seven seconds we add 500 to the 500 we have here which takes us to a thousand from seven seconds we go another one second to eight we can copy this and paste this here 11 seconds we are going to add another 500 Let's make this um, a bit more, so we we'll make this 1800. So 1800, we hold another one second. From 12, we move another three seconds. That ends the whole animation at 15 seconds. We go to 2500. And I'm just going to put in some reference prompts here. And we come back to the plugin panel. And uh, if you scroll down, if we click this, wherever you have your timeline it's going to create a prompt there i'm going to add four prompts as references we're going to align this move this aside quickly we'll start the second one at three seconds seven seconds which is here and also 11 seconds uh, we go to the y rotation i'm going to click here to make a keyframe press u it just um, takes out all the irrelevant uh, parameters we are going to start at 45 degrees. Let's jump all the way to 15 seconds. We bring this down to zero. Uh, we move to the last parameter, which will be the Z rotation. So I'm going to bring this down again to see everything. Create a keyframe. Press U to view what we are just working on. Come to seven seconds. We go to 45 degrees. Uh, if we come here, Z rotation is just spinning this clockwise or anti-clockwise. And I find this as my favorite uh, parameter to always include. At 7 seconds, we go to 8 seconds. We are going to hold this position. So we copy this keyframe and we paste it here. Now we move all the way to 15 seconds. And then we bring this back to 0. Always try to offset your keyframes. right? So just offsetting this always gives it some kind of an overlapping effect so everything is not too rigid i would prefer uh, to make these keyframes a bit smooth and uh, we can do that by just uh, right clicking uh, you come down here and you find easy ease or oh, the shortcut for this is f9 which you guys can see here uh, which you can do the same for the other parameters as well click this to select everything you hit f9 or you either right click uh, keyframe assistant and then you easy ease. Um, I'll just um, color code all of this so it's much easier for us to see. Uh, y rotation, I'll make this green. And um, I think we can keep this white, that's fine. Or we can change this to peach. We select everything in the Y rotation, hit the graph editor, 
Uh, you can view your keyframes in two different ways and you come to this icon here. You can be in the speed graph, which we can see now. Or if you go into a value graph, it's going to look something like this, which is also another way of manipulating your keyframe. We are going to be using the speed graph. Uh, make sure you're in the speed graph. We are going to start to move this very slowly. So I'm going to select this keyframe here, uh, right click, uh, keyframe velocity, click on this option here, continuous, click OK. Uh, this means once I move this, everything moves together. Uh, unlike this, which you guys can see, it's, it's broken into two. By going and using this option, uh, we make everything joint together and everything moves as one. And down here, uh, we're not going to do anything hectic. We just uh, also drop it down a bit. Next thing is we'll, we can go back here and select the Y rotation. We come back to the icon for the graph editor. Hit the graph editor. Uh, we just make this start slower. Now uh, also ends a bit slower. That will be all for Y rotation. And for Z rotation, what we can do is um, uh, we select the keyframes hold keyframes and uh, we go to keyframe velocity uh, we join everything together so basically this means when this gets here it doesn't stop all of a sudden right it has this continuous flow where it's still holding or moving slowly before it zooms in and uh, we are gonna do this for every bit of them so we don't have a pause but it's still in a continuous motion and uh, I'll just push this up here so we push this up here so this is going to give us this uh, what we can do is we are going to zoom in very very quickly on the first keyframe so this is going to start very fast and then from here i'll push this up a bit i'll uh, we'll move this also up a bit i'll just keep this a bit settled like this and you guys just need to play around it a lot just to achieve what you guys want to achieve but basically this was just um mind process of um, the effects and camera animation we had and down here i'm just going to move this so everything just ends so quickly practice more in the graph editor and also how to manipulate your keyframes which will give you a very good advantage in um, the camera animations so once we preview this which is way better than what we had before uh, the next step is to move into stable diffusion once we are in stable diffusion the first thing we need to do is to uh, first of all text to image uh, put in your prompts in my previous tutorial i explained how to look for your style you guys can check out uh, the previous guide about that in the top right corner but i already have my prompt here so i'm just going to copy this and i'll just paste it in here so once your prompt is here also make sure you're working with the right checkpoints um, which i used rev animated we can also change the settings here which i'm gonna change to uh, eula a also 40 steps probably 5 12 um, 7 6 8 seed of 40 we are in the text to image tab and this is only helping us to have a visual look so i'll just click generate here to see what we are going to have with rev animated so this will be our style which is very cool and uh, depending on the seed you guys use you might come up with something different you can always move ahead to copy your prompts from the text to image we go to after effects double click on prompt one you can put in your prompt um, i only use one prompt so we don't need this three we only use that as reference to see how the camera was moving close this here now go back to stable diffusion under the forum and from here we can start uh, filling up all these tabs to the end we have our sampler which is Eula A if we come to text to image remember we use Eula A here so we make sure it's the same thing here come to the steps we also put in 40 here and now we go for our width 512 here by 768 put in the same seed which we have from our text to image which is 40 come to the forum and we put in 40 and uh, the batch name is what you want to call your project so we'll call this Halloween and from the run we go to our keyframes we have to select 3d here we go for wrap and wrap basically means it generates images towards the end or the edges of your screen but replicate means it's going to be generating lines um, into the next frame cadence will be 2 and uh, max frames 
down here we can use this resource here if we are animating at 25 frames and uh, at 15 seconds this is going to give us 375 seconds so you guys can put in here 375 scroll down here we don't touch our strength we leave strength at uh, fault in our motion the plugin is going to help us do that if we come here i'm going to undock this so we can see everything clearly to get our keyframes in 3d if we click on this panel it shows us these properties and when we click on 3d animated properties or translation z we have all the keyframes we need for stable diffusion so i'm going to copy this we go back to stable diffusion we will have to paste this here into translation z next, we move to the next parameter which was animated in 3d y and we can see all the keyframes here once again i'll just copy this Control c to copy back to stable diffusion uh, come to 3d y and we just have to Control v and our, our last parameter will be rotation 3d z we come here same under 3d properties Control c back to stable diffusion control v to paste and we have all our keyframe animations from after effects and from here make a bit of anti-blare parameters here which uh, will be 0.5 next thing is to go into the depth warp fov you guys can check uh, the link provided in the top right corner now just to have a good understanding and explanation of um, this tab here by default we should find this at 70 but i'm gonna change this to 120. Uh, make sure you cross check your settings always before moving on prompts what we need to do is to just go into after effects click on other prompt by markers accept so i just control c here we close this highlight everything here and backspace and control v uh, next thing we need to do is to um, go into the init nothing here control net nothing here hybrid nothing here uh, next one will be the output and for the output we need to change this to 25 frames per second it's very very important uh, to have this the same uh, frame interpolation to film uh, once you guys click on film you're gonna have this options change this to four keep a lookout just for a good explanation of this parameter of what everything means here which i'm hoping to put out soon make sure you cross check again um, in after effects and make sure everything is matching up to what you have in stable diffusion and once everything is up here it's good to go you can just hit your generate so we can already see what the forum is generating and all the settings we placed in there if this video was helpful to you guys you guys can give it a thumbs up to let me know it was valuable this was a very brief video today but if you guys are interested in watching any of the in-depth breakdowns and explanations you should click to view any of the videos on the screen and i'll see you guys in the next one